What's up guys? Um, welcome to PPN. Today I have with Caden Geyser and I'm asking a few questions. Um, one being, how has uh, your senior year been different from all your other years at Brooklyn High School? Oh, it's been different. One thing that like I really missed this year was going to basketball games. Student section at basketball games were probably one of the funniest part at Freeport High School to do. Just get you out of the house, have fun with your classmates, good time. Okay. Um, and what advice would you give to your younger students? Uh, four years go by fast. Love them to the fullest. All right, thank you, Caden. Hello, guys. How are we asking? Kirsten. Some questions. <laughs> okay, so the first question is, how has this year been different from other years? Uh, definitely sports have been different. And then what advice do you have for incoming freshmen? Just try your hardest no matter what. Okay, thank you, Kirsten. You're Appreciate welcome. it. What's up, guys? Um, today I'm here with Jackson, and um, I'm asking a few questions. Um, so, how has uh, your senior year been different from uh, every other year of high school? Uh, pretty different, honestly. One, they tried to put in the block scheduling at the same time as the uh, Rona hit, so that changed a lot of things. The entire flow of classes is completely different. Wednesdays almost felt like free days, which is not, I don't think, the intense, but it kind of wound up being like that. I spent a lot of the year remote as well, so it made it really different. It almost felt closer to what college probably is. I had to work on a lot of things independently. The contact with teachers was way less direct, and it was a lot more time management on my own end. Uh, and and um, how, what advice would you give to younger, younger classmates? Uh, younger classmates, well, at least for remote time management, alarms are really, really useful. But in terms of you know still actually being in class, since I know we're keeping the block schedule, um, I think being able to stay focused on one thing at a time is pretty important. Try not to worry about other classes while you're in one, especially if your class is going to last like an hour and a half. Trying to get everything done kind of like one bit at a time is probably good. Compartmentalize it. If you look at it as a whole, it seems like too much. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Jackson. Hello, guys. I am with Jenna, and I'll be asking her a few questions. So first question is, what was your favorite part of high school? Um, my favorite part of high school was definitely the football games and the student section. Okay. And then for your underclass and incoming freshmen, what advice do you have for them? Um, go to sporting events, get involved, go to school dances, because you won't regret it. All right, thank you, Jen. Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate it. What's up, guys? I'm here with Morgan. And I'm going to ask her a few questions. Uh, what's her favorite uh, memory during high school? Uh, my favorite memories are definitely going to football games and dancing at football games with all my friends, the Tom's team. I will miss that a lot. And what advice would you give to um, younger students? I would tell younger students to definitely get involved in any, everything you can, like clubs and sports, go to football games, and make relationships with your teachers because it's fun. All right, thank you, Morgan. What's up, guys? I'm with Gordon, a.k.a. Slim Drip. Yeah. But first question I'm going to ask you is, what was your favorite part of high school? Uh, the football season. That's it. <laughs> and then my last question is what incoming advice do you have for freshmen and underclassmen? Uh, do the work when it's time. Don't wait. And that's it. All right. Thank you, Gloria. What's up, guys? I'm here with Kigo. And I'm asking a few questions. Um, what's your favorite memory in high school? Uh, my favorite memory by far in high school, other than like sports and stuff, sophomore year homecoming. I'm not going to say too much, but if you know, you know. <laughs> that was lit. All right, and the second question is, what advice would you give to um, underclassmen and uh, freshmen? Uh, for underclassmen, I would just say stay the course. Even if you didn't do too good your know, freshman year, you can still make it up with these years that's uh, coming up. Just get that GPA up. And when you get to where I'm at, do them scholarships. Them scholarships going to save you a lot of money when you go off to college. You're you, you not going to want to do it now. Trust me, do it before it's too late. That's going to save you a lot of money. All right, thank you, Kigo. Yes, sir. What's up, guys? I just want to thank all the seniors who participated in the video and all the seniors in general. Good luck with your futures, and we appreciate you guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, seniors.